you not like it? You aren't happy that I'm working out? Are you really working out? Look at my fucking arms, dude. I'm a monster right now. You're not proud of me? I'm always proud of you. Hey, that's sweet. I mean, the bar is just <laughs> so low. Let's it's... just start. Let's just start. <laughs> What's going on, all you queasy quails? <laughs> My name is Mason. My name is Grayson. And welcome to the Weekly Checklist, where we discuss a three relevant topics that we hope tickle your mind brain. That's my favorite part. We have a person here. Yes, we have a special guest for our 50th episode of the Weekly Checklist. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, we decided to do something different, and so we had a guest on today. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the one, the only, incomparable Nicholas Ingram Die. That's not my name. A.K.A. No Goals. Thank you. That's, that is your name. That's my name when I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you true. don't do this well, you're going to be in a lot of trouble, buddy. Nicholas! Fuck me. Um, okay, so yes, happy 50th to yes. us. Um, yeah, what a journey, man. Yeah. What a journey. Yeah. About a year ago, actually, we started this, Almost, right? Yeah, two, in two weeks, we'll, there will be our year episode. Oof. Yeah. Uh, but we're at 50 now, which is a pretty good milestone yeah. in and of itself. Also, happy 420 to everyone out there. Yeah, you smoke weed. Oh, it's 420 today? It's 420 today. Oh, man. Yeah. You should have gotten... Not high. <laughs> Man, so a little bit about Nuggles. Uh, we've known him since college. He's um, sexy as fuck. Yeah, that's about it. It's just, we've just known him. He's always, always just kind of been there. Um, <laughs> he was my college roommate, one, one of my dearest and oldest best friends. He was my best man, and Grayson is... I was also there. <laughs> He on was. the on the day of the wedding. Well, we're gonna do a little interview section a little uh, later on, but we're gonna start out with uh, checklist inception. Inception, inception, inception. The dream within the dream, the big brain anomaly. It's checklist inception. In this segment, we rapid fire off questions to no goals, <laughs> oh. with a very small time for him to answer them. Fall into the next level of the weekly checklist. Falling backwards off the. Whoa. Have you seen inception? Wow, well, yes. you. Answer questions okay. from our checklist. Okay. Another, it's like check, it's like checklist within checklist. Do you yeah. get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get the idea, right? Yeah. It's like it's super hard to understand, but I think I got it. <laughs> I was Are you a little nervous. What's happening? No, right it's this, it's like half on the rug. That's why. Don't shit on the chair, man. <laughs> that chair is very special to me. Literally, don't shit. <laughs> and don't shit on the chair. Either. Isn't that one of them shitting chairs? No, that's not a toilet, Knuckles. So yeah, we're gonna do twenty questions back and forth. Gray's going to start, and I'll bring her home. Are you ready, Nuggles? This ready? should be fun. These yes. are catered towards you. Ooh. They are. Yeah. I feel so special. Well, Man. you might not when That's you hear some of these. Oh, well. They're, they're pointed. <laughs> <laughs> and away we go. Question one. Do you think your love for Dungeons & Dragons deters you from getting laid? Absolutely not. She loves it, too. Oh. <laughs> wow, correct. Question two. Who turns you on more than anyone? Grayson. <laughs> correct. <laughs> Rapid fire. Three, do you have hair under that hat? Yeah, I do. Is it just on the sides or is it just bald on the top? I got hey. too much hair. Hey. Question four, how small is your pecker? What pecker? Uh, correct. Correct. It's, uh, it's that small. <laughs> number five, if you were a girl for a day, what would you do? Touch myself. Number Didn't six. see that coming. <laughs> Original. When was the last time you called your mother? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, next. You're a bad person. Woof. <laughs> Incorrect. You should be every day. Number seven. I call Grayson's mom every day. Don't bring her into this. Number seven. If you were a pair of shoes, what kind would you be? Flip flops. Incorrect. Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight. Can you lick your own elbow? No. Show me. <laughs> <laughs> you know the attempt? Big points. Number nine. What mythical creature would Dragon. improve... The world, if it actually existed. Dragon. They're magical. They have magical powers. How would it improve the world? Uh, you ask it a fucking wish, and you say, cure global warming, and then it'll suck in all the heat with its fire breath. Nerd! <laughs> what up, Question ladies? 10. <laughs> if you had to lose a foot or a hand, which would you foot. choose? I can't game with one hand. Correct. <laughs> so nerdy. Correct. Number 11. What is your go-to cookout order? Uh, the box, obviously, I get the burger, two corn dogs, and a large Coke. Double up on the corn dog, Double correct. Corn dog. Nice. Question 12. Do you wipe front to back or back to front? <laughs> Both. 
Interesting. Did we'll you we'll accept it. It's, it's the it's the brown crayon thing. Ew. <laughs> Number thirteen. If you could date a celebrity, who would it be? <sighs> Next, I don't know. Wow, that's lame. Yeah, I don't know. Boo. Oh, boo. Boo. When did you hit puberty? What's puberty? Uh, incorrect. You have a tiny pecker. <laughs> Number I'm fifteen. Saying. If you were a rock star, what would your name be? The Nug. <laughs> I love this. Correct. Love that. Number sixteen. What is the most embarrassing thing about you? My tiny pecker. Mm. Incorrect. Your old man butt. Ooh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Number seventeen. If Mason died, would you take care of me? Who? Okay. Would you take care of me? I need you in this moment. No <laughs> That's who's. Literally, what Mary Grace is for. Oh, I would move in with you guys, right? Yeah. Okay, Mary Grace died too. Could I move in with you guys? <laughs> yeah. Jesus, man. Just move on. <laughs> uh, incorrect. You have to take him. He needs you. Uh, number 18. When was the last time you worked out? Uh, <laughs> actually, two days ago. Nice. Peloton, baby. Young Peloton the God. Number 19. What's that smell? That's my asshole. <laughs> oh, God. 20. Correct. If I asked you to slap Grayson right now, will you do it? <laughs> And now back to your regularly scheduled program. That was the dumbest checklist inception we've ever done. I hated all of that. You suck and no one likes you. Should have thought of that so I could get Mason to get slapped and then I could sit over here and go... <laughs> Alright, we're going to do the, uh, the little interview part of this now. We've never done this before, so this is exciting. Um, so, Nugs has been working at the Javits Center, aiding in the administra administration of COVID-19 vaccines. Part of Operation Gotham Shield. Whoa! He's... Somebody brought their name tag. Got his fucking <laughs> name tag. Fucking cool. Nice lanyard, bro. <clears throat> First of all, let's just, like, how did you get the job? What what is the, What does that process look like from when you get there to when you leave? Well, getting the job was a pain in the ass. It took months. Really? Uh, yeah. Um, With, like, screening... No, not something? even. It was it was just going through. I, I, part of it was is they were in the process of setting up um, the Javits to work as a mass vaccination clinic. It had been mm. open for a while, but on a much smaller scale. Okay. Right. Um, and I had a friend of a friend who uh, was working with a temp agency, and she had done this kind of work before. She knew that I was interested in it because I am so sick of this fucking disease. Mm. The um, and so she. Put me in touch with her recruiter at this temp agency uh, that, you know, they're the ones in charge of getting people to staff it. Right. Yeah. Uh, both the nurses and the data entry people. And so she put me in touch with that recruiting agency. Uh, and then it took about two months of just getting them my information, waiting to hear back, waiting for the Javits Center to actually like really open up. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, coolest part about it, though, is that on my first day uh, working there, and by day I mean night, it was a night shift. Uh, at the end of that 24-hour period, we had done 13,500 vaccinations. Wow. which 13,000? Yeah. Really? Which is what wow. made the Javits Center actually the largest mass vaccination clinic in the world at that point. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's very cool. Javits yeah. has been pushing them out, man. Yeah. yeah. We were doing... Like, um, it was uh, Pfizer during the day and Johnson Johnson at night. Nice, man. That's great. Yeah. Um, no, no Moderna crew? No Moderna crew. Sorry, uh, Moderna crew. I got Moderna, so... Young Moderna over there. Suck it. So what 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 are you actually doing so as as your job? Um, so basically, I'm the 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 data entry guy. So like when the people come, you know they they have to already go through registration. Sure, sure. You know, go through the line. When they finally get to my table, um, usually I'm sitting there either with one or two nurses, and I got a computer in front of me and a little plexi screen in front of me, um, and we can have two people sitting on either side of the table to get vaccinated. Uh, they'll come to the table. I'll take their information, um, ask them the questions like, Hey, you know, have you ever had an allergic reaction to anything before? Have you ever passed out at the sight of needles before? There's a whole checklist. <laughs> that we go so hold on. Okay. With that, how many people have passed out from at my table or have I do you, so seen? Uh, to sure. Whatever. You Either ask one. them like, do you, and they just, they'll say, no, I'm not afraid of it. And then they yeah, still... Well, okay, so this is the thing. Uh, it's not... Pass, it, like, passing out, getting a shot is a very common... Yeah, thing. for it's, sure. It's, it's, it's There's a word for it that I'm forgetting right now. It's that, a fear of needles or whatever. No, right? it's like a vasovagal something. Oh, uh, the old vasovagal. All my friends are going to be like, idiot. Reaction that you cannot sure. control. Yeah. And it, you just black out. Yeah. Um, so I've had 
three people pass out at my table, two of which, two of them said before... Um, they weren't. No, that they were. That they're like, yeah, this is a thing that happens. Yeah. Um, so one of them we sent over to the tent to get the shot while they're laying down. The second one was like, oh, I think I'll be okay. It only happened once when I was way younger. And then she started feeling dizzy, so we got the mat out and we laid her down. She didn't like pass out, pass out, right. but like... She yeah. wasn't... Woozy. And the third was a big guy who decided to lie to us and tell us that he's never passed out before, and that dude was just out. Did really? he just fall out of the chair? No, he just kind of like... <laughs> really? Yeah. Just wow. slumped over. I forgot. That big tough guy. Crazy. Tough yeah. guy. Oh my god. It's absolutely... It's always... Do you see it every like every once in a while? You just see it over like at a different station. Just someone go, and we're like, <laughs> we need the gurney, you know. Yeah, like we get we get the rapid response people over, and it's it is a pretty common thing, especially with the Johnson and Johnson vaccine, just because it's safe. The Johnson and Johnson vaccine is safe. Yeah, it's just it's a bigger dosage. It's so a bigger like, needle. It's a bigger needle, yeah. bigger dosage. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you only have to get it once. That's true. That's I'm yeah. on the J and J crew. How are we are feeling about Johnson the blood and... clot thing though? It's. It's dumb, right? I think it's pretty dumb. Literally a one in a million chance based on like the on this study that they're doing right now. I'm not a doctor. I don't sure. have a, a valid opinion on this, but like you just got a lanyard though. As I got a lanyard. You look like a pretty oh, official. official. I think this guy <laughs> knows what he's talking about. Have you seen a lot of people like a lot of people nervous when they come up? Oh, a lot of people your... are nervous. Yeah. yeah. I mean most people are just like I crying happy because it I mean it's yeah. an emotional thing. Yeah. I, I I got emotional when I got my shot because I was like, God damn, thank god light at the end of the tunnel finally yeah yeah, yeah. um but yeah i mean there's a ton of people who are terrified of needles and again going back to what i was about to say is it's yeah you you'll get i'll get a you know 90 pound 18 year old girl sitting in the chair take it no flinch nothing she yeah just man. takes it like a champ and then you get a 300 pound <laughs> dude wearing a trucker caps bearded big I've manly never man. passed out i never passed out gone no <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's tough. It's a 12-hour shift with, you know, a 30-minute lunch break oof, and a giant indoor space mm -hmm. where, you know, you don't see sunlight. So that right. part is tough. Right. Yeah. The thing that makes it worth it, though, is that everyone who goes to get the shot is, like, and by everyone, I mean, 98% of the people mm -hmm. are excited and they're emotional mm -hmm. and, yeah. and, and they're so thankful. And, yeah. like, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Last question. Uh... Do you think there's anything that could be done differently from just uh, your perspective? I would say, like, if I was running the show, if I was, you know, King Nuggles for the day, I would say... King Nuggles. God, that sounds good. Uh, <laughs> Boo. <laughs> I would send out the Johnson & Johnson to the smaller mom and pop places and just use that there and wow. use the mass clinics to use the Pfizer. And interesting. The yeah. uh, well, cool, man. Well, thanks for... We appreciate you yeah, coming man. over and, and, and doing this. Yeah, that's uh, interesting stuff, man. It's, uh, it's nice well, to see a perspective from like somebody on the inside like that. Yeah, Yeah. thanks for uh, sharing that that intel with us. You did an awesome job. A <gasps> shushwing! Oh, we forgot to shushwing the first time. <laughs> yeah, idiots. I've been doing this 50 Oh, uh, I guess... Yeah. Do we just rapid fire two? Yeah. Shushwing. Sh you did... We can do it with us. I did it. Well, now this time, you go out. I like the I, what you were doing when you went out. We're going to go in. You are, we putting, are we keeping all of this in? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, probably, yeah. <laughs> this is this is gold. Sha 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 oh, it's not. Going up. All right. Now we're going to do a little Google Docs. Google Docs. Uh, indeed. I see you went from the Jones and the vaccines into Docs. You don't like talk it. for like this it. part. Don't talk <clears throat> during these segments. Welcome to your weekly checkup, where we diagnose the most commonly searched autofill phrases on Google in an attempt to help the wonderful people of the internet. And we've got Nuggles here to comment on these along with us. I typed into Google, when is it okay? Autofill phrase. When is it okay to say, I love you? Always. Oh my. Wow. There should be more. Uh, oh, touching. Clutch the pearls. A touching moment on the checklist. Oh, wow. oh okay. Man. Well, you know what they mean. Like, you're on a playground and it's like not your kid. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably <laughs> problematic. Yeah. When is it okay to say I love you? Always. Every pedophile like watches and they're like, great. Now I can be me. I Thanks, love the Nuggles. weekly checklist. Permission. King Nuggles. King Nuggles. <laughs> <laughs> when is it okay to lie? Um, I think this is actually an interesting one because I think there are, it's like, done, you should done, never lie. Be honest. We've it's like, definitely done versions of this Of that, before. yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, 
all white lies are okay. I think people just really want to like lean into like, oh, I mean, I'm just trying to be 100% and yeah, I'm not going mean, to lie to you and this is how it is. It's, it's a, like, it's, yeah, okay to, suck. it's okay to lie uh, yeah. if you're trying to save someone's feelings. I think. When is it okay to use a drug? Always. Per drugs. King Noodles has spoken again. God, got, the per, the person's like tying off right now. They're listening and they're like, yeah. Noodles, thanks, man. This guy's pretty cool. I'm going to do a double dose today. <laughs> when is it okay to use a drug? What a weird question. To use a drug. Not to use do drugs, a drug. Can I have one drug, please? One Thank drug, you. Please. One singular loop unit. One, one crack rock, if you will. <laughs> when is it okay to wear white? Uh, not past Labor Day. Appa- why? Why, though? Because it's the thing. But we don't know, right? Don't question it, Grayson. But like nobody it really is knows. Known. I think it had to do with Colonel Sanders. Really? He, he abused it. He wore yeah. white all the time, and we're like, we got to, we got to cut the colonel down. <laughs> I Popeyes just don't. I think that's such a dumb, weird rule. Popeyes. You get a Popeyes chicken sandwich. Popeyes. Goes well King with drugs. <laughs> <laughs> that person that's like their doctor said, if you eat any more like cholesterol, you'll die. They're just <laughs> They're like, like, I'm oh, getting that Nuggles. sandwich. Thanks, Nuggles. <laughs> Why am I killing everyone? <laughs> <laughs> okay, last one. When is it okay to pop a pimple? When that fucker's nice and white. If it's white, you like your own or someone else's. Oh, oh I, ugh, I like popping pimples. No. People think it's no. gross when I say that. Oh. I don't care. No. I'm keeping it a hundred. No, don't. Please don't. Yeah, it's gross. All right, I'm gonna do my Google Docs now. Okay. Um, I typed in what is a nug. <laughs> I'm a nug. And the first one is what is a nuggy. A noogie on a noogie. A noogie on a noogie. What is a noogler? The noogler. Apparently it's the king of everything. <laughs> the king of everything shitty. The noogler? Well, I like the noogler. Yeah, the the noogler might be the name of the episode now. The noogler? Yeah. I think so. And I, I want to have like a cartoon of you <laughs> with like, you know, a bandit mask on or something. The noogler. The noogler. I like that. What is a, a, a noodle board? <laughs> I what know. is a noodle I put board? noog and it said noodle. It just changed it. What is a noodle board, though? What is a noodle board? That's weird. Do you know what a it's noodle board? It's a board to put your noodle on. <laughs> that, but that just, that just words you're saying out loud. I that think doesn't... it's just like a, dis- a dish that you display at noodles. What mm. is nougat? They, again, they, they like changed some of the spelling. Well, yeah, because they don't... They, yeah, no, it's it's not, not, noog it's isn't a real word. <laughs> it's not even spelled right. Nougat. I love nougat. Love I love around. nougat. Mm, yeah. Sure. What is a noodle spoon called? <laughs> <laughs> Every night with my wife, noodle spoon. Noodle nice. spoon. A no- noodle spoon. A noodle spoon. I, I love that it's just like no- noodle board, noodle spoon, <laughs> noodle fork, noodles knife. Like what? What are these things? I want to know. And here's the last one. What is a nudge? <laughs> like or like N-O-O-D-G. a nudge? O d g. In like a nudge, is like that, a like a light push. A is that what they're trying to say? Nudge. That is. Yeah. Wow, we look like idiots right now. Yeah, we're touching each other. Too much. <laughs> Just nudging each other. And we can check that off. Shushing. Ow. Fist. I guess that's it, right? <laughs> yeah. Wow. We did it, Nuggles. We got through our first ever interview episode guest on the episode 50. You should feel honored, man. You did a great job. Thanks, man. You did really Fun. good. The part in the middle where you were talking about Javits, we're going to cut all that because it was boring as <laughs> shit. But <laughs> everything else is great. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Everything else is awesome. Oh, man. We're going to do a little back talk where we uh, talk about what... We sent a question out on Instagram. Uh, the question was, if you could ask this person a question, what it would be? And it was a really... Fuck you for that picture. It was a really flattering picture of... We'll, we'll show that. On I'm going to insta right now. Some, some of the pictures that I have for Mason. <laughs> no one's going to look because you have like four followers. Um, <laughs> I don't use Insta though. Exactly. I don't use the Twitter. Yes, yeah, so we put up that picture of Noogles and said, if you could ask this man one question, what would it be? Uh, our friend Payne said, how much? <laughs> <laughs> for him, free. Ooh, oh. for Payne, free? High praise. Wow. Uh, and our friend Teddy, Teddy asked, My friend Teddy. Teddy likes me. Yeah. Wow. Well, I, I like Teddy. Well, sure. <laughs> wow. Uh Teddy said... <laughs> Great picture. Uh, what is the appropriate length for cargo shorts? <laughs> uh, non-existent, Ted. That's it's not 2006 anymore, bro. Bro, you rocked mad cargo you shorts rocked back in the mad day. Mad cargo shorts. Back in the day, you're the cargo short king. I think you still have some. No, you don't have any. What, you 
You gave away, you threw away all your cargo shorts? I'm married. I didn't throw away shit. She did. <laughs> married would mean like, well, she's already married into it. You can wear your cargo shorts now. No. Wow. I like, this is a very mature look on you, man. I'm digging it. Cool. I uh, hope you've enjoyed what you've listened to today. We really have fallen in love with doing this podcast every week, and it means so much that you're all tuning in and downloading the episodes. We welcome any and all feedback so we can improve this product for you guys week to week. If you have a second, ow, please visit our website, graceandamason.com, to subscribe for all the latest content, and follow us on all social media platforms at Grayson and Mason. It's him and me. It is. And don't forget, during World War II, Japan bombed China with fleas infected with the bubonic plague. That's fucked up. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? I mean, we nuked them. We didn't nuke Uh, them. We did nuke them, which is probably more fucked up, but that's that's like evil. (laughs) At least we were like, quick and painless. They were like, no, 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 no. We're going to start a plague, and they're all going to die slow and long. fleas. Fleas infected with the bubonic plague. Disgusting. Disgusting. Bye now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Bye. <laughs> Boing.